dear students under the topic measures of averages here we have the first problem under grouped frequency data so whenever the data is given in the form of groups that is whenever they are given in class interval we have to apply the following method in order to solve the given problem now here the question is find the mean median and mode for the following data and verify the empirical relation so first of all we have to find mean and then median and then mode and we have the empirical relation where we have to substitute mean median mode and we have to verify whether the given data satisfies the empirical relation or not so the given data here is in the form of class interval they are grouped data so if you see here we have the classes and the corresponding frequency so they have given these classes here you could see the frequencies too now first we shall learn the formula to find the arithmetic mean median and mode so if you see the formulas used here are the arithmetic mean for grouped data which is given by x bar which is equal to capital a plus summation fd divided by capital n multiplied with c so this capital a is the assumed average which will be taken from all the mid values of the class intervals and then d is equals x minus capital a divided by c where c is the length of the class interval and capital n is the summation of all the frequencies you will understand this better when we apply this formula in the given problem and then we have the formula for median which is given by this i will explain this formula while solving the problem for median in a similar way we have the formula for mode which is given by this formula so this is the formula for mode and this is the empirical relation which we will be verifying whether the given data satisfies or not so let us do one by one first we shall do the arithmetic mean but anyway the tabular column that we have to draw should be in such a way that it helps us to find the arithmetic mean median and mode as the first step we have to given the uh, we have to check the given data so first of all we have to check the class intervals the class intervals should be in such a way that uh, the lower limit of the second interval should be the upper limit of the first interval that is here the interval first class interval is 1 to 10 so it gets over at 10 and the next interval should begin at 10 but if we see here it is not like that here it gets over at 10 and the next interval begins at 11 and then it gets over at 20 so the upper limit is 20 but the lower limit for the next interval is 21 so first of all we have to convert this class interval into true class limits so how we shall do that in order to find the true class limits we have to subtract 0.5 from the lower interval so 0.5 has to be subtracted from all the lower limit okay and then we have to add 0.5 to all the upper limits so remember we have to subtract 0.5 from all the lower limits and we have to add 0.5 to all the upper limits so when we do so the first interval 1 to 10 it will turn to be so with the low the lower limit here is 1 so with 1 we have to subtract 0.5 so if you subtract 0.5 from 1 we will be getting 0.5 only uh, i can show you here in the calculator also so 1 minus 0.5 which will be equal to 1 minus 0.5 is what 0.5 and so this uh, true class limits uh, will turn to be 0.5 for this and what did i tell you we have to add 0.5 with the upper limit 
so if you add 0.5 with 10 it will become 10.5 so for example I'll, I'll just show you here that is 10 plus 0.5 which is equals 10.5 so that is what we get here similarly we have to subtract 0.5 from 11 so what we will be getting so from 11 we have to subtract 0.5 and we get that to be 10.5 so the lower limit will change to 10.5 over here and we have to add 0.5 to the upper limit and so that will change as 20.5 so this will change as 20.5 this method we have to do for all the class intervals given here and we have to convert these limits into true class limits so after we do so what we obtain is this that is i have written the true class limits over here so after subtracting 0.5 from all the lower limits and adding 0.5 to all the upper limits we get these true class limits now if you see the uh, first interval ends at 10.5 that is the upper limit of the first interval is 10.5 and you can see that the second interval begins at 10.5 that is the lower limit of the second interval is 10.5 so if you see these values have become same so now we have uh, for first we have converted the given class limits into true class limits and the data that we require to solve the problem are the mid x the mid x is obtained in order to find the arithmetic mean and then the frequency that we have in the question that we have to take and write in this column then in order to calculate the arithmetic mean we have to calculate the value of d which is equal to x minus capital a divided by c and then we have to multiply these two columns and find fd in order to substitute in the formula of arithmetic mean so all the first four columns help us to find the arithmetic mean after that we have to find the cumulative frequency so this cumulative frequency will be helpful to us in order to find the median and by using frequency we will be finding the mode so first we shall see how to find the arithmetic mean in order to find the arithmetic mean first we have to find mid x so what is this mid x mid x are those values which falls in the middle of the each interval for example what is the middle value of the interval 0.5 to 10.5 we can identify it as 5.5 because 5.5 is the mid value of this interval if you are not able to do it manually if you are not able to find it manually by yourself then you can make use of the calculator to find the mid value the method will be what is the lower limit it is 0.5 so first you type 0.5 in the calculator and then what is the upper limit 10.5 so you add to the 10.5 with this so what do you get if you add these two you get 11 take the average that is divided by 2 so that will be 5.5 and so that is the mid value of this interval so let me show you the mid value of the next interval which is the lower limit is 10.5 so 10.5 plus the upper limit is 20.5 and what is the sum of these two it is 31 we have to take the average so divided by 2 and so that will be equal to 15.5 so 15.5 is the uh, mid value of the second interval so 15.5 so what will be the mid value of the third interval it will be 25.5 if you are not able to identify it manually you can calculate it in the manner that i showed you add the lower limit and the upper limit and uh, divide the answer by 2 you will get the mid value and so what is the mid value of this it will be 35.5 and then the mid value of this will be 45.5 and then the mid value of the next interval is 55.5 for this interval it will be 65.5 
and for the next interval it is 75.5 then 85.5 and 95.5 so these are the mid values of the given uh, true class limits now after finding the mid value what we will do we will take the frequencies that is given in the question and write it corresponding these two values uh, the, the uh, corresponding to these values that is the frequency given here 3 7 13 17 so this we shall take and we shall write in this column so what do you get we get 3 7 13 i'm just taking the frequency and i am writing here so 17 12 10 and then we have 8 and 8 and then we have 6 and 6 so these are the frequencies that is given in the question next after writing the frequencies we have to calculate the value of d in order to find d we should know the value of a so what is a a is the assumed average already i have shown you the formula so if you see this is the formula for the arithmetic mean and here you have the assumed average capital a so what is this assumed average it is the mid value of all the mid mid x for example that is if you see here we have the mid values of x so what is the uh, middle value of all these so if you see it will be 45.5 or 55.5 these two values are the mid values of all the mid x so because this is even uh, even number are there that is 10 there are 10 uh, observations so either it should be this or this as the mid value we will choose the first one itself that is the mid value is 45.5 so this is capital a okay so capital a is 45.5 so i'll take and write here so we have taken capital a to be 45.5 and what is the formula for d i told you it's equal to i have already given here d is x minus a divided by c so it is x minus capital a divided by c so that will be equal to x minus what is capital a 45.5 divided by c is the length of the class interval now what is the length of this class interval it is 10 so if you see this class interval is also 10 so if you see here the length of all the class interval is 10 only that is i will show you here also that is you have to take the upper limit so 100 my point 5 and then subtract the lower limit minus 90 point 5 what is the value you are getting 10 and so that is the class interval so the length of the class interval is 10 so this will be 10 so let us take this uh, d and write here so d is equal to what d is equal to x is for uh, x minus a is 45.5 divided by c is 10 so using this we have to calculate for each values here that is first the value of x is what 5.5 so it will be 5.5 okay and then x minus 45.5 so minus 45.5 what do you get you get negative 40 divided by 10 so you get negative 4 so that or that is the first value of d you should take and write here so it is negative 4 next the value of x is 15.5 so let me show you that so 15.5 okay minus a so a is minus 45.5 equals minus 30 divided by 10 is equal to minus 3 so that we have to write here i will show you for one more value okay so the next value is 25.5 so 25.5 minus 45.5 so 45.5 which is equals minus 20 so divided by 10 equals minus 2 so that minus 2 we have to write here in a similar manner we have to calculate for all these values and write here 
so let us uh, let me write that and show you so after calculating for all the values in the similar manner we get these values for d so till here okay yes now next fd fd is you have to multiply this column and this column you have to multiply f and d and you have to write here so it is 3 multiplied by negative 4 so plus into minus will be minus 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 so you will get minus 12 the next is 7 into minus 3 so plus into minus minus 7 multiplied with 3 is 21 yes next is plus into minus minus 13 multiplied by 2 which is 26 the next is 17 into minus 1 so minus 17 12 into 0 0 and then 10 into 1 is 10 8 2 times is 16 8 3 times is 24 6 4 times is 24 and then finally we have 6 5 times is 30 so we have obtained all the values of fd so this is this we will be utilizing while finding the arithmetic mean now the cf which is the cumulative frequency we will be finding in order to find the median so i am not doing this now because i just want to show you what is necessary for arithmetic mean so this we will be finding only to find the median so first we are finding arithmetic mean so this is what we require that is the formula for arithmetic mean is this arithmetic mean is x bar is equals a plus summation fd divided by n multiplied with c so let me write that now so i have taken and i have written that formula here now in this formula we need capital n because capital n is equal summation f so this we have to find we have to add all the frequencies in order to find summation f so 3 plus 7 plus 13 plus 17 plus 12 plus 10 plus 8 plus 8 plus 6 plus 6 so when we add all these frequencies what we get is 90 so summation f is equal to 90 so we have obtained summation f from here in a so we can substitute that over here in a similar manner we have to add uh, all f d and substitute here so what is that this column that is we have found fd here we have to add all these values very carefully and we have to write summation fd which will be equal to so let me show you so if you see here you have, have the negative sign so directly you can put it in the calculator that is negative 12 so negative 12 negative 21 negative 26 negative 17 and then you have plus 10 so plus 10 plus 16 plus you have uh, 24 and then plus again 24 plus 30 and so what you obtain the answer uh, is you get it as 28 so we get it as 28 so summation fd is equals 28 so we have obtained summation fd and summation f now we have to substitute all this in this formula so let us do that so we will be having the arithmetic mean x bar to be equal to capital a what is capital a 45.5 so 45.5 plus summation fd which is 28 divided by capital n capital n is what summation f what is summation f 90 so divided by 90 multiplied with c c is the length of the class interval which is 10 so the value of c is equal to 10 so that we have to write here now we shall simplify this so we will uh, we will be having 45.5 plus 28 multiplied by 10 is 280 divided by 90 so what do we get that as that is 280 okay divided by 90 we get the answer to be 3.11 we can take it up to two decimals so 3.11 so this will be equal to 45.5 plus 3.11 so if we add 45.5 to 3.11 what we get so plus 
45.5 so which is equals 48.61 so therefore this is equal to 48.61 and hence the arithmetic mean x bar we have obtained it to be 48.61 so this is the arithmetic mean so after finding arithmetic mean the second question is we have to find the median for this problem so we have to find the median so which i will be doing in my next video so kindly follow the next video lecture in order to learn about median for the same problem thank you